In some of my video, I talk about if you want to enjoy your solar energy system, then you have to oversize your solar PV. But it seems a lot of people don't understand what I was trying to say. Because when, when oversizing your solar PV or your solar panels, then you have to oversize weight sense. There was an installation I was called recently, like a week or two ago, to go and correct. Everything there was perfect. Their connection was okay, but the oversizing was wrong because uh why i did this video is because i want to let you understand that if you are oversizing your solar panels then it have to correspond with the size of your solar charge controller yeah because your solar charge controller have limit of solar panels it can handle so oversizing make sure you uh, size your panels in the limit of what the solar charge controller can handle so when they call me to come and correct this system i went there everything was perfect like i said there is a 60 amp uh MPPT cartel solar charge controller and there is about eight unit of 300 watt solar panels and at the end of the day the system was in charging because once uh, the sun is at peak uh, the solar charge controller will sense high current and it will shut down it will stop charging the battery so when I went there I sat down observed what it was doing and I removed two uh, panels that means uh, what the charge controller was trying to say is that it cannot handle the 8 units of 300 watt solar panels. So whenever you want to oversize your system, make sure it corresponds or you oversize your system within the limit of the size of the charge controller. Because oversizing it above what your solar charge controller can handle will end up damaging your solar charge controller. You know, a lot of people will still come here and argue and be like, it can handle up to 8, the person didn't do it right, but that's just the reality. You have to do that within the charge controller limit. If your charge controller is 60 amps, it should handle between 40 to 50 amps. Anything above 55 amps may cause damage to your solar charge controller.